now to rejoice always. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and worship the name Father, of the Most High God. Yes, we appreciate you. Father, we bless Thank you, Jesus. Lord, Lord we worship we your majesty. Lord. King of glory, King we of magnify glory, you. you Thank you for putting a new song in our mouth. Lord, we bless your holy name. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The joy of the world, we give you all the glory. Lord, we are so grateful. Thank you, Jesus. In Yahweh of Judah, we magnify you. Thank you, Jesus. All the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. Lord, we give you to you. Thank you, Father. You are worthy, Lord. Worthy to be praised. Worthy to be exalted, worthy to be magnified. There is no like you, Jehovah. Reke Mashadaba. There is no like you, and no one can be like you. Lord, you are awesome. Magnify your holy name. Lord, we give you glory. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah to your name. Rama Shakaraba Reke Debo. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you honor. Glory, 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 let your mercy reign over my children, over my children. Let your mercy reign over my husband. Let your mercy reign. Let it reign. Let your mercy reign over me and my household. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your mercy speak for me and my household. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your mercy reign, Lord. Let your mercy speak, O God. Let your mercy speak for me and my house. Lord God Almighty. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we are worshiped. Amen. Magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord. The Lord is able. Magnify the Lord.
It's only you know. Yes, Lord. Lord, we bless you, we worship you. Thank you for this hour. Thank you for being our help. Thank you for being our help. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy that speaks for us. We are alive today because of your mercy. We are alive today because of your mercy. Lord, it's because of your mercy that the enemy cannot do anything. Thank you, eternal Father. Several things have happened, but your mercy has kept. Oh, yes. Lord, your mercy kept us even till today. Oh, yes, and you Lord. continue to keep us today. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we are watching. Amen. 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 Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. We bless the name of the Most High God for this hour. Amen. And another privilege that we have, even to be in the presence of the Lord. Mm-hmm. And I pray that today, wherever you are, the mercies of the Most High God shall look at you. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Within the few minutes that we have left, today is our Thanksgiving yes. service. And we are considering the topic, Wonders of God's Mercy. Hallelujah. Amen. Wonders of God's Mercy. And our text shall be taken from Lamentation chapter 3, we read from verse 22 to 23. Lamentations, the third chapter, chapter 3. I will read from the 22nd verse to 23rd. Lamentation 3, 22 to 23. And I read. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Yes, Great is thy faithfulness. Amen. The steadfast love of the Lord and the sea is there. His mercy is never come to an end. They are new. Wonders of God's mercy. The Almighty God is a God of mercy. Yes, Lord. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 12. The Word of God says in Jeremiah 3 12, the Almighty God Himself said, I am a merciful God. He is a merciful God. He gives mercy. You cannot give what you don't have. And that is why his anger does not last too long because he's a merciful God. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. And as a matter of fact, the word of God says, according to Ephesians chapter 2, 4 to 6, Ephesians 2, 4 to 6, our God is rich in mercy. Rich in mercy. Do you know the meaning of that? It means if you want to measure how worthy God is. It is by His mercy that you determine how rich Hallelujah. God is. Amen. Ephesians 2, 4 to 6. That mercy will locate you today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Great is the mercy of God. His mercies are great. Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 31. Nehemiah 9, 31. As a matter of fact, the word of God says is gracious and is a merciful God. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. So that is why he is a father of mercy. Luke 6 36. Luke 6 36. That come. We are to be merciful the same way our father is merciful. So he is a father of mercy. Amen. And that is why the word of God makes us to understand that in 2 Corinthians 3 5, 2 Corinthians 3 5, he said that come. We are not talking of the competence of our own. But we are talking of the competence that comes from God, which is bestowed upon us. Which means you get what you don't deserve. Why? Because God gave his competence. He extended his hand of mercy unto you. God is a compassionate God. That is 
that's why he's a merciful God. So he treats his children in a compassionate way. Compassionate treatment. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is why Psalm 51 verse 1 to 2, Psalm 51 verse 1 to 2 say, Have mercy on me, O God, because of your great compassion. And God is a God that is great in compassion. What does this mean? This means that when you are in a desperate situation, when you are in a turbulent times and you need to come out, then you need the mercy of God. When you have done all things and you don't know what else to do, then you have to reach out. To the one who is a merciful God. For example, Matthew chapter 8, verse 23 to 27. Matthew 8, 23 to 27. The Bible says, Disciples of Jesus Christ, they were in a desperate situation. They were in the sea and there was a storm. They have done everything they needed to do, but they reach out to the one who is a merciful Father and is still the Son. Every storm in your life. It doesn't matter how they came. It doesn't matter where it started from. As you reach out to a God of mercy today, He will steal that stone for you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It is only in Jesus Christ, the Almighty God, that you can find mercy. It is Amen. only in Him that you can find hope. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my life, my strength, my son. He is the only one inside of him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, what a great God that we are talking about. He has the capacity to forgive and to show kindness and give unmerited favor oh, yeah. even to his children. That is why when the leper came to him in Mark chapter 1, verse 40, Mark chapter 1, verse 40, a leper said, the one who was sick, he said, I know you have the power. I know you have the ability. What I don't know is whether you are prepared, whether you are ready to help me, to have mercy upon me. And because the word of God said Jesus was moved with compassion, he said, I will. God will reach out to you today. Amen. In that sickness, in that situation, in that challenge, the mercy of God shall look at you. Amen. His compassion will draw you closer. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why David cried out in Psalm 12, verse 1 to 2. Psalm 12, verse 1 to 2. He said, Have mercy on me, O God, because of your unfailing love, because of your great compassion. A compassionate God. Mercy. Oh, it's mercy of God that keep you alive today. Amen. Brethren, it's a new month, September. And you know that. You are alive today by God and God alone. All over the world, over 26 million people, 26 million people have been infected one way or the other by COVID-19. And out of this figure, almost 800,000 people have gone on the ground. But you are alive today by his mess. Brethren, if you see COVID-19 face to face, it is not something you see with a naked hand. It takes a microscopic object to be able to see. And that is why you don't even know the direction where it's coming from. God kept you and I by his mercy. Thank Hallelujah. You. And that is why that passage that I read to you say it is by the mercy of God that we are not consumed. Oh, yes. God is a God of mercy. And that is why we reach out to you today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, let's look at the practical application of how God reach out to his people in mercy. For example, in a dangerous situation, when destruction is looming, when death, when challenges, when there is a problem, how the mercy of God can keep you. The word of God says that even when I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Amen. Because God is with me. Because his mercy locates you. So when you walk in a dangerous terrain. You find yourself where you cannot. You are only alone with you. But God is with you. His mercy will locate you today Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. If you read Genesis 19 verse 15 to 16. Genesis 19 15 to 16. During destruction 
and you discover that Lord and his household, after several warnings that God has given him to move out, oh, the word of God says the angel of God reached out to him and dragged a couch and his household out of destruction. In every destructive destruction you find yourself to be, God will pull you out. Amen. Even if you are dragging feet, like Lord and his household, the message of the law will protect you against every danger. Amen. And you shall be safe in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Oh, mercy of God can locate what? When the fellow is sick, when you need healing. For example, in Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to 52. Mark 10, 46 to 52. The word of God said there was a man that was sick for over 40 years. They call his name Bartimaeus. But people tacked blind to his name because he had been blind for a longer period of years, over 40 years. But one day, the mercy of the Lord located him. He cried out. He said, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Amen. He cried out for mercy. And the hand of the mercy of the Lord located him. And that was the end of his problem. I speak to you. By the power and the authority of the Most High God today, he, wherever you are sick, every part of your body, they will hear a voice from heaven today. Amen. And that boy will speak mercy to that Amen. situation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Beginning from that day, the story of the problem of Bartimaeus ended. Amen. Every sickness situation, every story of sickness, over and over again, every problem of medication by this, by that. The one who is the grace, who is the great physician is reaching out to you today with Amen. this message. Amen. In the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Oh, no Amen. wonder when that beggar came to him and knelt down and pleaded for mercy, he broke all the rules because a leper you must not touch by the law. The Bible says you just touch the leper. Mark 1, 40 to 45. Mark 1, 40 to 45. He reached out to a, beg, to a leper. Even in mercy. The mercy of the Lord located him. There it was a rule that though there you nobody dare touch a leper. But God Himself, in the personality of Jesus Christ, he reached out and touched the leper. He broke the protocol. Yes. Every protocol that the Almighty God needs to break to give you your healings. Today, the hand of that mercy is located you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whether you need spiritual healing or physical healing or material healing, or you are sick financially. Today, the message of the Lord is bringing you out. In the mighty name of Jesus. He cleansed the leper. Oh, and that is why he's the great healer. Remember the story of that man at the, at, at the pool of beside that? John chapter 5, you read from verse 1 to 10. The word of God said, there were multi today. He was continually defeated. But one day, when the message of the Lord located him, the one who is a merciful God walked up to him. And he told him straight away, do you want to be healed? He said, carry your bed and go. And that was the end of the problem. Yeah. Every sickness is hibernating your body. Today, a voice is saying, carry your bed and go. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, to the world who is in prison, to the world who is condemned, the mercy of God can bring you out. Amen. Amen. For example, James chapter 2 verse 13, James 2 verse 13 says that even if you have committed an offense, if you have done it, and you are rightfully convicted, the word of God is saying to you today, the mercy of God can bring you out. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says the mercy of the Lord overrules every judgment. So every judgment of man, every judgment from many quarters today, which has condemned you into a depressed situation, into a rejected situation, into an abandoned situation that has put you at a stagnancy position, the mercy of God is bringing you out. Amen. And that judgment is overruled. Amen. And the mercy of God prevails. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You know, because God made it very clear in Isaiah 49, verse 24 to 26. Isaiah 49, verse 24 to 26. He said that shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Or, in other words, can the lawful captive be delivered? Oh, that's a big question. And God answered him, 
said in verse 31 and 25. He said, Thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the free of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with them that contend with you. Amen. Everyone contending with your destiny. Today, God is saying He will feed them with their own blood. Amen. Everyone that is suppressing you, the Bible says, according to the word of the Lord, God said He will feed them with their own flesh. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. So the mercy of God can deliver you even where you have been captured. Lawfully. Samson went and surrendered himself into the hands of the enemy. But the mercy of the Lord brought him out. The enemies were in disgrace. Because the investment of the Most High God is in the life of Samson. God can go to any length to protect his investment. Every investment of the Most High God in your life will never go wasteful. Amen. God will defend you. Amen. God will fight your battle for you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mercy of the Lord can feed you, can provide, make provision for you. His mercies provide. Go remember God fed his prophet. When he asked him to go to the brook, a rebel bear was bringing food. If a dog can bring food, oh, at every regular hour that the man of God needed food, it means God is mindful of you. God can use anything, even to make your breakthrough to come to reality. Oh, he can remove lack out of your life. He can close it. Say, look at the lily of the valley. Oh, they don't walk, but look at them, how beautiful they are. God will close you today. Amen. God will protect you today. Amen. He will feed you in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Remember the story? Jesus fed 5,000 with just five loaves and two fishes. The lunch of a little lunch, little boy. That boy surrendered. And Jesus bless it and he fed people. And God is not the God of lack. Mm. He's not a God that will bring call you and make you to be hungry. No, no, no. Every hunger that is ravaging your life and end has come to them today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. The message of the Lord made you to achieve effortlessly. You succeed by the message of the Lord. The reason why you are succeeding is because mercies of the Lord locate you. Oh, that's why Paul said, I am what I am by this grace of God. You see, you cannot do things on your own. You have no power of your own. I have no power of my own. I have no power of my own. Holy Spirit. Accept that your competence is in the Almighty God. Because the word high, when you are using high, I can do this, I, I, I can achieve this, oh, I made this, oh, I succeeded, oh, I do this. It is a language of the devil. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 20 to 20. Isaiah 14, verse 20 to 20. You see the word high, my, how many times that it has reflected in the scripture. Where the devil was using high, how we do this, how we do that, how we do this. Ah, it's a language of the devil. The moment you recognize that Paul said, whatever I am today is by the pressure and the mercies of the Lord. Oh, my house, oh, my car. Oh, and you are protecting them. I see you even have the power even to protect those things. But say, even money, money have wings. They can fly away. Your money will not fly away, the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Oh, with this little hate of ours, with this little exposure we have into the reality of this world, we have seen people who are extremely rich and they die poor. We have seen people that the things were terrible for them oh, at the beginning, and God brought them out for the married place. The Bible says, this God can go to the dumb deal and bring out the beggar and make him to sit among the princes. Do you know the meaning of don't you? We are the waste, are kept, rejected. Things that are of no value again. Things that are not relevant. Things that are not, you can, it's already condemned completely. God is saying, if that is your situation, you have been abandoned, you have been rejected, you have been relegated, you have been thrown away, you have been boxed to a corner by the situation of life. 
the mercy of God is reaching out to you today. Amen. And it's positioning you to sit among the princes. Amen. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Oh, you are cheap and you succeed effortlessly by the special grace of the mercy of the Most High. Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The mercy of God can make you to outrun your enemy. Elijah, Elijah was run away from Jezebel. And God, he was already has given up even to die. He said, God just killed me. Because the woman sent the message to him. He said, by this time tomorrow, there is a dead man. A witch, for that matter. Every enemy of your destiny, trying to truncate your work with God, dogs will leave their blood on the streets. Amen. If they don't repent in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. No mercy for the wicked. They are just what the word of God says. Don't pity them because they don't pity you. But the truth of the matter is that God's hands of mercy can look at you. The head of Goliath landed in the hand of David, little David, just by the mercies of the Lord. You can know how the physical imaginations of man, excuse me, there is no how you can be able to make assessment humanly possible and David could be able to confront Goliath just with stones. But God's message guided him Amen. and he positioned him that even while the stone was coming, he could not even dodge or manage to remove his head. Because every hand had that had the head of Goliath intact and made sure that stone is. Wherever your enemies are hiding, God will expose them. Amen. Amen. And the stones from heaven will hit them. Amen. And it shall be very completely. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The mercy of God located David and made you unqualified to be qualified. Amen. First Samuel chapter 6, verse 13. David was prevailed among his brothers. He was anointed. He was singled out among the many people. Because when he was coming, he looked rude. But he was beautiful to behold. Wherever your beauty are being hidden, because his beauty was kept in the bush, God's mercy is bringing you out. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. First Samuel 16, verse 7. The Lord said to Samuel, God gave Samuel specific instruction. Do not look at the appearance or the physical stature. Oh, because God does not see the man see. Man looks at the outward appearance. Oh, yeah. But the Lord looks at the heart. First Samuel 16, 7. Brethren, God, God can see your heart today and see that you are sincere. All the plans of enemy will be a stepping stone to your testimony. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Grace of God ensure that you succeed and you don't go back to the world. When Peter in John chapter 21, verse 1 to 13, John 21, verse 1 to 13, when he went back to fishing, Jesus made sure, sure he didn't backslide. He went and looked for him. After Jesus had died, he resurrected, he was showing himself. Peter said, I thought I would be able to achieve much with this man. Now he has gone. What hope? Oh, he said, I go back to fishing. I will never, never go, go back to the world. Never, never go, go back, back to, to the, the world. world. Never go back to, to the world anymore. I will never, never go back to, to the, the world. world. Never go back. To the world, never go back to the world anymore. I pray for you today. The situation that will make you to abandon God Almighty and go back to the past life will never come your way. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Peter said, I will go back to fishing. And another said, I will follow. The same failure that he experienced in the first system, they looked at the fire. Where God, Jesus Christ, rescued him. And brought him out. Now there was a kind of uh, temporary vehicle. He said, No, 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 I will go back again. This was the way that was going. Every stage of Peter, even when he denied Jesus Christ, Jesus said, Satan has made up his mind to have you. He said, But I pray for you. God will pray for you today. Amen. In the mighty right name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Jesus located them and said, Oh, where do I fish? Have you, have you got any fish? They said, No. He made food for them. And he fed them. Where did the food come from? Up to today, nobody knew. He is a provider. Hallelujah. Amen. His mercy provided the food. Amen. They cut nothing 
it again. He told them, throw your feet on your legs to the right hand side. The direction you need to bring you to limelight, God will guide you Amen. Amen. to get the right name of Jesus. Amen. Because God of God said the sense of the righteous are other by God. God will guide your step. Amen. And you shall excel Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. When are you to experience this message? That is now. Hebrews 4 16. Hebrews 4 16 that let us come boldly unto the throne of grace so that we may obtain mercy. You can assess it even now. Opportunity is open so that you can receive forgiveness. Psalm 12, verse 1 to 2. Say, Come. Go according to your loving kindness and multitude of your tender mercy. Please blot out my transgression. Blot out my sin. Which means that whatever you might have done in the past, how worse you could have imagined it to be, the mercy of the Lord can blot out. Amen. I can see the finger of God rewriting my story. Today, rewriting my story. I can see the finger of God rewriting my story. Today, rewriting my story. I am a product of the history that God rewrites for my life. Amen. If you can do it for for for, for solo tassels, and many to be a mighty vessel in His hands. He can do it for you. Amen. It doesn't matter how far you have gone. He can bring you back home Amen. with his hand of mercy. That mercy shall locate you today. Amen. When you thought all love is gone, when you thought there is nothing left, when you thought I want to go back to your past life like Peter, God's hand of mercy will reach out to you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Who are those that will enjoy the mercy of the Lord? Proverbs 28, verse 13. The Bible says, whoever covers his sin will not prosper. But you open up to him, confess and forsake, then you shall have mercy. Proverbs 20, verse 13. Oh, because the word of God makes very clear, you cannot give the children's meat and give it to the dog. As far as you are not one of the soul, the Bible says, then you are like a dog. I pray you come out of that situation Amen. and embrace the beauty of the Lord. Amen. Oh, what am I supposed to do? To do? Do as your heavenly father said. The same question was asked Peter when he preached, and people were preaching in their spirit. He said, They asked him, What do we do? He said, Come, just surrender, repent, and come away from your old ways and embrace God. As I conclude, first, second Samuel chapter 22, verse 27. Second Samuel 22, verse 27. You see a clear way God deals with people. God said, If you are pure. I will deal with you with purity. Oh, yes. Amen. If you are should, should mean you are a cunning person. You are walking. You are behind the seat. He said the same way. I will deal with you. And the same thing is real for in Psalm 18, verse 26. Psalm 18, verse 26. Say, come. The only way you, I can, can experience this mercy is by being pure. Oh, second Chronicles 30, verse 10. Say, God is gracious and merciful. And if you return to him today, he will come. He will say, you draw near to God, I will, and He will draw near to you. As that people have said, say, we can forsake your way. Return to the Lord, and He will have mercy upon you. Backslider can return. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 2. So today, even as we are looking at the wonders of mercy, mercy is available, and that God, even as you are surrender to Him, to embrace you. Amen. And I pray that as many want to give your life to Jesus Christ, an opportunity is open. Amen. And you shall be well with you. Amen. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. Mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. Captain of heaven, you are Jehovah. Father, Lord, we bless you. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you. We appreciate you. Amen. Thank you for this hour. Thank you for the opportunity to minister to your children. Thank you, Thank you for your grace, our band. Father, we worship you. Amen. Lord, we bless your holy name. Amen. Thank you for everything, Lord, that you 
our deliverance. Thank, thank you for your hand of mercy. Thank you. thank you, thank you for everything. Thank you, thank you because we are coming out of that difficulty. Thank, thank you, we are coming out of that failure. Thank, thank you, because we are coming out of that storm by your hand of mercy. Amen. Thank you, Father. Father, as many who have surrendered their lives unto you today. Father, please embrace them. Amen. Let it be well with them. Amen. Lord, take over their destiny. Amen. Let your hand of mercy locate them. Amen. Thank you, Eternal Father. Thank you. Lord, the captain you have set free to you. And the broken matter you have given to restore hope to them. Let their destiny be permanent. Thank you, Eternal Father. Blessed be the name Hallelujah. of God. In Jesus' mighty yeah. name, we are praying. Amen. I want to thank you for all your life. I bless the name of the most I go for you here in this world. And I pray your testimonies are recovered in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This God is a wonderful place, a God of mercy. Oh, if you have failed before, this mercy can bring you success in the mighty name of Jesus. And it shall be well with you. Amen. I pray you continue to experience his mercy and grace. And wherever, anytime you need him, just call on him. You are a different person now. You are a new person. And he's mindful of you. And he shall be well with you. But when I come your way again, I will hear your testimony. In the name of Jesus.